Senator Al Franken, Democrat of Minnesota, said on Thursday that he plans to resign in the coming weeks amid mounting accusations of sexual harassment against him. M. R. Franken, 66, is from St. Louis Park, men raised in a middle-class household where education was emphasized, he went on to attend Harvard University. In 1969, he met Franny Bryson, his wife of more than 40 years, at a college mixer. A comedian who spent years at Saturday Night Live, Mr. Franken reinvented himself as a politician before being felled by a string of harassment allegations in recent weeks. Also read, Senator Al Franken resigns. After college, Mr. Franken and a childhood friend, Tom Davis, moved to Los Angeles to try their hand at stand-up comedy. Soon, they caught the attention of Lorne Michaels, who hired them as two of the first writers for Saturday Night Live, which began in 1975. After a hiatus from the show in the early 1980s, Mr. Franken's star rose in the late 80s and early 90s with memorable recurring roles, including as the smarmy self-helper Stuart Smalley and as an intrepid journalist known as the one-man mobile uplink unit. After spending years at Saturday Night Live, Mr. Franken turned to writing, publishing the best-selling satire Rush Limbaugh is a Big Fat Idiot and other observations in 1996 and Why Not Me, in 1999, a satirical novel about making a fictional run for president. Weeks before its scheduled release, his 2003 book, Lies, and the Lying Liars Who Tell Them, A Fair and Balanced Look at the Right, reached the top of Amazon's bestseller list amid publicity surrounding a Fox News lawsuit over his use of the phrase fair and balanced. Also read, in courtroom, laughter at Fox and a victory for Al Franken. I'd like to thank Fox's lawyers for filing one of the stupidest briefs I've ever seen in my life, he said at the time. In March 2004, M. R. Franken began hosting the flagship show on the now defunct liberal talk radio network Air America Radio. Over three hours each day, he would heap scorn and ridicule on Republicans. He mocked Bill O'Reilly. His radio show was initially called the The O. Franken Factor and poked fun at President George W. Bush's administration. Around that time, he had even begun hinting at a Senate run. Also read. Comedian for Senator? Don't laugh. On February.14, 2007, he signed off on his last show by announcing his candidacy. I have decided to move on to another challenge, he told his audience. The Minnesota Supreme Court ended eight months of legal challenges over the results of the November 2008 election and ruled that Mr. Franken had defeated the Republican incumbent, Norm Coleman. M. R. Franken was sworn in a few days later, on July 7. When you win an election this close, you know that not one bit of effort went to waste, M. R. Franken said after the court ruling. He was re-elected in November 2014. During his eight years in Congress, M. R. Franken spoke out often about concerns that consumers were risking their security and privacy by using certain electronic devices. In 2011, he and several other senators expressed concern about tracking information that Apple and Google collected on users through their cell phones.